Hi everybody, today's video we're going to discuss again the recoil analysis, but this time we'll be using the Mantis X10 that I just got. And so we'll be doing the same test as my first video where I tested three different grains of popular 9mm ammo, the 115, 124, and 147 grain, with also the two different springs that came with the P320 X5, the purple spring and the orange spring. Purple spring is the 14 pound and the orange spring is the 12 pound spring. So let's do it. So I have the Mantis X app open right now and I will screen record this so that I can show you guys what's going on while I'm shooting. And one interesting thing I've been noticing since using the Mantis X10 app is that when I'm shooting with usually my left eye, just my left eye because I'm left eye dominant and closing my right eye, I've noticed a lot of times that my recoil kind of goes up into the outside and back down. So that's one really cool thing about this app is that you can really analyze your recoil. And since I've noticed that, I started to shoot with both eyes open and I haven't checked the recoil meter yet with that, but let's see what happens then. All right, so I got the Mantis X app open and I'm going to go to the recoil meter and start my screen record here in a bit. But I noticed when using the recoil meter and shooting like I normally did with just one eye, my left eye, and I'm right-handed and bringing that gun to my left eye and I would shoot the gun and I noticed the recoil my recoil would actually go out to the right and back down a little bit. So what I want to try today, since now I've started shooting with both eyes open, is actually shoot how I'm going to start shooting now with both eyes open, using my right eye as the dominant eye, and see if the recoil just goes up and down, because that's mainly what you want. You don't want to go too far left and right and all that other stuff, all that extra movement to acquire the sights again. So let's see if there's any improvement. So we'll go ahead and click screen record here. So we'll shoot five consecutive rounds. So this is going to be the same ammunition as I did in the first video. We'll start out with the 115 grain from Defender Ammunition. We'll shoot five rounds with the purple spring and then five rounds with the orange spring and we'll do that for the all, all of the ammo. So we'll go ahead and click start on the recoil meter here. Five shots. Okay, so I won't talk too much on camera about this. We'll go ahead and get all of the data and I'll put it into an Excel table and we'll uh, look at it later, later in the video and go over it that way. But immediately I already kind of noticed that my muzzle recoil angle, let's see, it's already really improved. So for example, this is a lot closer. Well, I'll show you on the screen. This is a lot closer to the center of the line. Whereas when I was using it before, that angle was really far out to the right. And if I have a previous screen record or something, I can look through my history, I can find that and I can show you a side-by-side -side comparison. But let's go ahead and continue the test and we'll talk about this later in the Excel tables, okay? Purple Spring 124 grain ammunition from Mid-America Ammunition. Five rounds. And last, the 147 grain ammunition from Defender. Was that five? There we go. Now I already think I like that 147 grain with the 12 pound or the purple spring 14 pound spring and that's what I've decided to use actually in competition. In my first video I mentioned I like that orange pound spring, the lighter spring a little bit better, which you know the better thing is to go with the lighter spring and you'll be a little bit faster. But right now recoil management with the uh, purple spring and the 147 gram is just perfect for me right now. So we're going to continue that in all of the other competitions. But let's go ahead and swap out the spring for the orange one and who knows. Maybe the orange, sprout, orange pound spring is going to be better for me based on what Manta says. But basically I'm doing this test just to see if I can verify what I've visually seen in that first video and back it up with some good old data here. So it'll be a little bit easier to tell once you see the numbers versus if you're just going to go based on what you can visually see in the slow motion. All right. Orange, pound spring, orange spring, 12 pound spring with 115 grain Defender ammunition. Okay, that's all of that. We'll go to the 124 grain mid am ammunition, five shots. Five 
And the reason I'm kind of shooting in a little bit more of a quicker follow-up is just because the app detects your average recovery time. I and mean, I'm not going super fast because I'm making sure I acquire the sights before I shoot and I'm not cheating myself. So last one here is the 147 grain by Defender Ammunition. All right. If you look at that, maybe that orange spring does even a better job on the 147 grain than the purple spring because that recoil angle is really, really small and the muzzle rise is not so bad. So, uh, okay, we'll take a look at all of the data here and we'll review it, okay? So here is all of the data I compiled from the Mantis X10. We'll start out with a 14 pound purple spring first. Now this information doesn't agree exactly with the test I performed with the slow motion video in an earlier video, but factual data trumps what we see visually. And it seems the opposite is true from the video in comparison to the Mantis data, which is that the 115 grain is slightly better when comparing it to what I thought originally, which was the 147 grain. But they're almost close, basically one degree difference, but definitely the 124 grain had the most muzzle rise. In the end, the 147 grain just felt softer and easier to control by feeling, but it could be confirmation bias. But now I know I can't go wrong with either the 115 grain or 147 grain when using the 14 pound spring. Next, let's look at the 12 pound orange spring. Regarding muzzle rise, the data matches what I saw in the slow motion video tests earlier. It had the least muzzle rise by about eight degrees in comparison to the next best, the 147 grain. The 124 grain was only two degrees off, which closely matches what we visually also saw in the slow motion video. However, recoil width seems to be my biggest concern when shooting. I may still go with the 147 grain overall with the orange spring as it has the smallest recoil width and recoil angle of them all and recovery time was pretty good. So with this new data I have, it looks like I will generally try to choose the 115 grain ammo when using the 14 pound spring and the 147 grain ammo when using the 12 pound spring. I will generally stay away from the 124 grain if I can. The data probably shows slightly different results than the slow motion video test since I've recently switched to shooting with both eyes open and using my right eye as my dominant eye versus when I shot right handed with my left eye dominance. Keeping the gun at my right eye keeps my wrist and arm more in line with my body and I think that played a big role in recoil control. Okay, just coming to you guys from the future here, doing this outro before I get to take, take a look at the data here. But yeah, in general, I hope you guys like this video. I hope this video was a little bit more informative with actual data backing up what I've noticed. And maybe that data, based on what I probably discussed before in the Excel table, has changed my opinion on which spring with which ammo I should shoot with. At the end of the day, I'd like to shoot the cheapest ammunition, the cheapest nine millimeter, but we've got to decide which one's going to give me the best performance out of which spring and go that route. But right now it's the 147 grain, which isn't as cheap as 115 grain. But all in all, let's go back to the Mantis X. I highly recommend the Mantis X for all of your shooting needs as far as uh, improving your shooting. There's a lot of things on there that you can use to improve your shooting, like holster draw analysis and your shot timer and your open training where you can just see what scores you're shooting at. So, but that does it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too long and let's see you guys in the next video, okay?